while the sun shines. It's a popular saying indicating that you should do whatever you have to do when there's still strength, when there's still the opportunity to do so. And on this note, I welcome you again to another exciting episode of the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. I am still Demola Senyolu saying welcome. I'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back. Today, I have two notable figures with me, two notable figures. They are broadcasters. They are on-air personalities. They present a very popular program on radio, precisely Echo 89.7 FM in Lagos, Nigeria. 
I have with me Adebisi Adewusi, popularly called Adebisi Konga and Anikeola Salako, popularly known as Annie Baby on radio. They present the Lagos This Morning Show, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. And they are popular, they are popular voices you must have heard. So I'm bringing them to you in diaspora. I have with me Adebisi Adewusi. Adebisi, good morning. Oh, yeah, it's nice to hang out with Demola Sanyolu on a uh, backstage story show on Nollywood Radio France. Uh, it's quite interesting to be <laughs> on the other side of the divide. Uh, we, we normally interview people. That's what I do on radio uh, over, ever since and all that. And, of course, uh, it's quite interesting. It's good. Uh, you know, I've uh, been on radio uh, for quite some time after some professional trainings. And, of course, uh, I'm doing a degree in University of Lagos, a uh, Bachelor of uh, uh, History, Bachelor of Arts in, in, in History and Strategic Studies, okay? And, of course, since then, I've not looked back. Uh, trainings in Radio Nigeria, uh, uh, voice training and all that, doing some production training also, journalism training in uh, uh, Nigerian Institute of Journalists, uh, Journalist, uh, NIJ, uh, over here in Ogba, uh, Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, since then, one has not looked back. Uh, several things, doing several stuff, and, of course, uh, presenting entertainment programs and uh, doing some other stuff on radio, but uh, now particularly presenting uh, uh, Lagos This Morning Show, uh, uh, a platform I share with uh, Anike Olasalako, Annie Baby, uh, David Sikonga, I hear. And of course, Mondays through Fridays, we try to entertain people, inform people, uh, play music, uh, using uh, uh, the presence of uh, uh, different DJs who work alongside us on, on, on the show. Every day, Mondays through Friday, 7 a.m., 10 a.m., we interview some uh, important uh, personalities uh, in our station, uh, uh, politicians, uh, captains of industry, uh, name it. We interview just anybody. We bring in some school children, you know, interview them on skills, acquisition, and all that. And, you know, it's quite interesting, quite engaging, uh, quite fun, I, I, uh, you know, and all that. We have some very, very uh, silly segments on the show, uh, particularly the birthday segments, uh, where we uh, take phone calls from people uh, talking about their bad days and, and sharing uh, the fun, the laughter, the joy of the moment of the day. And, you know, uh, we also, uh, you know, we have some famous birthdays of people all around the globe. You know, it doesn't just stop in Nigeria. Is we try to showcase Lagos. Uh, you know, like one of the uh, skits that we play on the show, uh, showing what you see on the Lagos road if you are a, a journey just come. In case you just come into uh, Lagos, Nigeria, uh, you hear all those. Uh, 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 conductors and all that, shouting different places, different uh, bus stops, different uh, uh, places that they go to, their routes and all that. Uh, some of the things that uh, a new visitor will meet in Lagos, and I, like I tell people on radio most times that Lagos is known with so many things, and some people think that you can pick gold on Lagos streets, but it, it's not uh, entirely so, entirely true. Uh, you know, you see traffic, okay, the gridlock is massive, uh, well, and of course, well, the government has tried and, uh, to, try to showcase some uh, repairs here and there and all that, but then the massive influx of people uh, to Lagos, Nigeria, could be better imagined and seen, because is quite awesome. And we see that every day on Lagos. So we try to showcase that on radio, what we see on radio every day, uh, on, on Lagos streets every day. Uh, we do some comic relief, you know, try to make sure that people laugh. Uh, you know, people go through a lot of things and all that, a lot of um, ups and downs. Uh, so we bring uh, some comic relief into play. Uh, we also, uh, you know, uh, bring a lot of uh, voices on the streets. Uh, we, we ask them questions, uh, see some of the, uh, uh, the producers that, uh, you know, produce uh, on the show, they go on the streets, uh, ask some questions on sidelines, voices next door, and make sure that uh, p you know your voices can be heard. We ask from the uh, most serious uh, to the most mundane. Uh, there's nothing that we don't do on Lagos this morning show on Eco 89.7 FM. And of course, uh, it's not quite a very, very uh, exciting moment on radio, aside from other things that I do uh, as DBC Conga on radio, uh, doing sometimes the evening bell show and all that. But then the flagship of the station is the Lagos this morning show. And of course, it starts at 7 a.m. with the headline news and all that. And of course, uh, it best at 10. And uh, it's quite interesting and quite engaging uh, working alongside Anike Ola Salako, Adi Baby, Debi Sikonga, Adi Bisi Adeusi on this one. And um, the feel as we get from the public is that, first of all, 
<laughs> Alright, that uh, was extensive. Adebisi Adewusi he has uh, expressed all. I think he has given us the details about everything on the LTM show. Annie Baby, nice to have you here and uh, your fans, friends, and lovers in diaspora would like to hear from you too. Alright, thank you. I'm um, actually on the backstage story show with Demola on Nollywood Radio France. Yes, I am Annie Baby. Uh, that's uh, what uh, friends call me, but uh, my full name is Anike Ola Salako. I double on the show, the Lagos This Morning Show, on 89.7 FM. That's the official radio for Lagos and, of course, beyond, because um, this particular station goes, you know, all over the world. And that's why we're also, you know, always very happy uh, when we are on radio. Uh, of course, um, this particular program, the Lagos This Morning Show, is a flagship, you know, for of the station, and this is a must listen to by everybody in Lagos because uh, this, this particular program actually depicts um, the society that we live in. And when I say the society that we live in, it depicts, uh, you know, um, Lagos and Nigeria, our dear country, um, starting, you know, with um, headline news, giving us uh, tidbits on what the papers are saying that by 7 a.m., and then rolling into uh, traffic reports. Um, from there, you know, we analyze some of the uh, naughty issues on the newspapers because uh, believing that um, uh, the media is uh, supposed to be the voice of the people, so we take on some naughty issues um, where we um, you know, make it interactive, where people calling uh, to really express their own opinion and views about um, some of the um, issues that uh, we, we place on the front burner. And then, you know, having given their own um, take, we also push that across in many of our major uh, news bulletins, and that's, that you know the, the program also continues. Uh, we have um, the segment just like um, David Sikunga said, um, celebrating you know the celebrant in everyone. Everyone is a celebrant. We only want to be uh, part of every Lagosian's life. All right. So definitely um, from January through December, everyone will celebrate his or her birthday on a particular day. That's why. Uh, the show, you know, is open to every celebrant, you know, on at a particular time. And then the programs, you know, continue uh, talking about sidelines. We take on some issues that we may not be able to take on a major uh, interview segment. And that is what we call, we you know, why we call it, we call it Voices Next Door. Uh, Voices Next Door means that um, it, you would like to listen to uh, what your neighbor, you know, may be thinking about that he or she is not saying aloud. Probably what is going on in his, okay, it's just uh, some of the issues we look at is, okay, how, how do you see, uh, well, how, or how do you um, maybe take the issue of um, um, uh, gay, for instance. Some of those issues we may not be able to treat, uh, you know, on our uh, main um, discourse, but we want to hear what people have to say about it and it's fun when people come and say, me? Oh, oh my God, I can't you know, go into it. I'm not a gay. I can't do this. You know, and then it's so funny. But we pick out some vitals from that. And then, you know, comedy, which is uh, one of the things that uh, make people to really wind down. Because we know a lot, of, you know, a lot is happening in our society now that could make a lot of people to be tense. So we want everyone listening at every time uh, on the show to really be calm, to really unwind, not bearing all the burdens of this life, you know, on his or her shoulders. So we want everyone to, to you know, want to have a smile uh, on each person's face, knowing the importance of uh, a smile. And then the program also continues, you know, making sure that it's a total package. Believe you me, if it's a total package. So having listened by 10 a.m., every listener will, whose day will have been really made. And that's why I'm happy, you know, seeing that we're impacting on other people's lives.
Wow, it's a whole bunch of excitement. The LTM show is something to listen out for. Uh, you can actually listen online on Radio Lake Girls, EcoFM.net, right? You can listen out for this show, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., Mondays to Fridays, Lagos This Morning Show. I've been speaking with Adebisi Adewusi and Anike Olasalako. They are very notable guys on the show, all right? ABC Conga and Annie Baby. Okay. Now, um let's 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 get back after this short break, then I'll go on from there. out a, a little issue. It's about Nollywood. Nollywood and broadcasting. Uh, what role do you think broadcasting has played so far? That's one. Then two, what role do you think broadcasting can play in Nollywood to make Nollywood uh, uh, you know, a symbolic thing in, in this country? All right, uh, between uh, Nollywood and uh, broadcasting, one would uh, uh, say, and rightly uh, uh, too, that uh, it's been a symbiotic kind of relationship. All right, okay, they have uh, they provide material for uh, broadcast stations uh, to be able to use when they want to reel out the entertainment news and all that. But uh, uh, being that it may, uh, the people in Nollywood also need uh, broadcasters to be able to, to showcase uh, what they have to offer. You know, sometimes their fans only well, have to see them uh, in films and all that, and, uh, in home videos and all that. But uh, sometimes uh, it, it gets really uh, to the nitty gritty where uh, broadcasters reel out uh, what is happening to A, what's happening to B, uh, B is at so so and so location, uh, this film is coming out, it's produced by uh, this person uh, starring this uh, particular actor or actress as the case may be. And of course, uh, it really showcases uh, the kind of uh, Nollywood we want to push out to the world and uh, make sure that uh, even those in diaspora, uh, those who are not within Nigeria, have a way of uh, trying to, uh, you know, pick a thing or two uh, about uh, Nollywood. And that, that's the story of Nollywood over the years because uh, it has really uh, brought out uh, what Nigeria can really do. You know, uh, those days of, uh, you know, uh, giving Nigerians a bad name because of some very few bad guys amongst us. And now that we have this uh, to push out to the world, the world is seeing us in a new and different dimension, uh, you know, making sure that, of course, uh, yes, if, uh, of course, something good can come out from this country, <laughs> if nothing at all, then Nollywood is a good relationship, and, uh, of course, it's here to stay. Uh, if some people in broadcasting have also been part of Nollywood, you know, try to do one or two things, you know, acting and all that, and uh, it's been a relationship that, uh, well, everyone is happy, happy about, nobody's, you know. Everybody's happy about the relationship. All right, Annie, baby, you want to add more to this? Yeah, thank you very much, Jamal. I, I would say that um, Nollywood is one of the greatest things that has come to Nigeria uh, because it has really given Nigeria a good face. Um, one thing that I can say here is that Nollywood is actually helping um, the broadcast industry to push across some unwritten messages. There are some messages, you know, that uh, the broadcast station cannot um, reel out. It's not everything 
that we can say via the radio. Okay, we can say, okay, Nigeria is good, but how good is Nigeria anyway? So it's actually the Nollywood that um, puts this in proper perspective through the you know, various movies that um, they put together. And, of course, these movies are um, you know, being sent across the uh, whole world where anybody, anywhere, irrespective of wherever the person is, watches and says, oh, so this is Nigeria after all. You know, our cultures and traditions, um, some that may have been uh, misinterpreted by people, uh, get, you know, they, they get to know better, uh, more about them, and people appreciate Nigerians better than what it used to be. So I would say that, um, of course, symbiotic relationship, and um, I only want to urge for more um, of search so that we all, the two of us, can really make Nigeria a great nation again. All right, thank you, both of you. It's nice to have you. I am still on the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France, and I have been speaking with DBC Konga, DBC Adiwusi, and Anike Ola Salako, Annie Baby. Both are from uh, ECO 89.7 on the radio station, a popular radio station in Lagos, Nigeria, and the anchor, the Lagos This Morning Show. Now, let's talk about broadcasting or journalism in general and our role as watchdog to the society, would you say that broadcasting and journalism is playing that role as a watchdog to Nollywood, DBC? Of course, uh, well, we're, we're playing uh, our role. Uh, some people can uh, well say that uh, sometimes it goes uh, from the uh, most serious uh, to the most uh, mundane. Uh, sometimes you get some gossips and all that. Uh, some, uh, well, so there's some people call them junk and uh, journalism and all that, where you have to, you know, paparazzis follow you everywhere you go. You're a newsmaker, uh, you're newsworthy and all that, and they have to report everything uh, that you do. And uh, the the excuse would be that. Uh, well, you are, you, are, you are in showbiz, you are a star, you are in Hollywood. Whatever you're doing is news. And the people really want to know and uh, the right to know and all that. But in, uh, aside that, uh, breaking into someone's privacy and all that to get uh, your news item because you're looking for exclusive and all that may not be uh, uh, ca the case uh, in, in this wise uh, because uh, there's – in every profession, there's a way where you can refer to as off limits and all that. But then, one of the hazards of the profession sometimes you need to really dig deep. You have to beat some deadlines and all that for those in the print media. But for uh, broadcasters, once, once you have your smartphone, you're, you're on your iPad, you're on your laptop, you're on the system, it's automated and everything just comes in your face, right? Everything is now in your face. I, I guess there's really no hiding point for uh, hiding place uh, for anyone right now. Uh, I want to talk about news gathering. Uh, 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 bringing out news, whether in print or in broadcast media, uh, because everything is in the open now. So, I, well, you have to be in the news. You have to be in the news because uh, the people uh, re really have the right to know. And the right to know, uh, we provide a platform. So, <laughs> so Annie Baby, watchdog, journalism broadcasting, are we doing that job properly? Yeah, thank you very much, Demola. Uh, uh, for me, uh, I would say that um, we are not there yet, you know, because we have a lot more to do, especially um, now that we have social media. A lot of people that are not even trained journalists, are, you know, they're always there posting things, you know, on the spot um, and news and all that. So why would someone who is really trained not be able to do uh, um, much more than uh, someone who is not trained. And that is why in this age and time, any broadcaster, be journalist or what that, anybody in the media, you know, has got a lot of work to do. We have to, you know, work more. Um, and I'm sure funding may be part of um, some of the problems that um, we're facing because uh, sometimes when you want to do exclusive, you may be needing much money to um, go in into setting places Maybe part of one of the greatest problems that we're having is funding um, for any journalist to be able to do exclusive. Maybe needing, you know, um, some um, quite some substantial amount of money for you to really follow up. Because a lot of journalists are found not to be able to follow up certain stories when they just um, get a particular uh, story, they write it, and that's the end of it. But in most cases, being able to really make news is to follow up 
on whatever has happened. Sometimes you find out that, okay, maybe it happened that um, there was a kidnap case of a particular person, and then the story comes out. But at the end of the day, you don't get to know what actually happened um, to the suspect, whether he um, was actually apprehended, whether he, you know, um, he recovered the, the person and all that. So it, it just dies there, and that's the, the essence of um, the old journalist, uh, journalism uh, profession, being able to give us exclusive and being able to follow up and making sure that the people that we're actually supposed to serve, you know, have, the, you know, they, they're really happy that, uh, after all, the media is giving them a voice. Thank you, Annie Baby. And uh, it's nice to have both of you on this uh, exciting episode. I thank you for your time. But on a final note, what would you like to say to upcoming generation who want to take up broadcasting, journalism as a profession? Do you, would you say this profession is very lucrative? Would you say it's exciting? Would you say, apart from, aside from the hazards, it is still something to delve into? Well, uh, well, it's uh, of course uh, lucrative, uh, depending on which side you want to look at it. Uh, if you're a professional, it's a talent industry. Uh, it's about what you can really offer. Uh, so if you have something to offer, uh, it's uh, actually very lucrative. And it's a good profession for people to join. Uh, there's no regret uh, thus far. I, I don't think there will be any regret in the, in the future uh, because when you talk, people hear your voice. Uh, people uh, uh, listen to your voice, listen to your programs on radio or television, as it were, and they would like to meet you. And uh, when in the meet you, sometimes we, we go have a talk shop uh, with some young minds or some uh, secondary school students. Um, sometimes even uh, to the higher institutions and try to uh, uh, try to you know uh, try to be a role models to them and teach them uh, the, uh, the little uh, that we can on, on how this is done. And sometimes when people come for interns, uh, internship and all that. We also uh, try to put them through, and you know, we tap, uh, you know, so those who have talents uh, amongst them, we push them and see what they can offer. So it's really a talent industry. There's no regret. It's lucrative. Just uh, 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 be sure of what you're doing. Be sure of yourself, and be focused. DBC says, be focused. Thank you, DBC. Annie, uh, uh, Annie, baby, what do you have to say? Yeah, for me, I'll say that um, passion is um, first of all uh, most important. You must have passion for this job. I always tell you know the young ones coming in that uh, if you do not love what you're doing, then please quit. You don't have any business here. In the first instance, you don't have to think about the money you're going to make. If you're coming into broadcasting and you're thinking of what, how much you want to make, then, my dear, you are in the wrong place. So if you have passion for this job, it is the passion that you know keeps driving you on. And then if you, by the time you're, 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 you're with the passion, you are able to work on yourself. You're able to know the job very well. Every other thing falls in place. You actually make your money not from the salary you, you, you know, you're getting, but from all other things, for, such as emceeing. People continue to you know, um, call you for jobs. Please, uh, my dear, any baby, can you come and um, be the master of ceremony uh, for this particular event? And then because they just like your voice or they like the way you talk, or speak, and then you can be uh, speakers at some events. Uh, people can even say, okay, we want you to you know, um, do this advert for us, or commercial, and then you get paid much more than what you can think of earning at the end of the month. So in the first place, just be good, continue to work on yourself, having passion for it, whether you keep late nights or you do, or, you know, you uh, do some tedious job on the, while you're in the studio, you don't mind because you know that you love what you're doing. And then, especially for me as a woman, if you're married, I always tell young ladies that please, if you're in this job, anybody you want to get married to must really love what you do. My husband has been so supportive. He, he, I always say he loves my job more than me, and that is why I'm still here because. Even sometimes when I feel I'm tired, I want to drop, he says, no, go ahead. And if you have your support from the home, then there's nothing stopping you. All right. This is still the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. And I have been speaking with Adebisi Konga and Annie Baby, the two popular voices on the LTM show, Lagos This Morning Show on Echo 89.7 FM, Lagos, Nigeria. 
it's nice to have you guys on this show, and I really appreciate your time, despite your schedule. And <laughs> we appreciate you also. <laughs> All right, and on a final note, what message do you have for your fans in diaspora? Adibisi, let me start with you. All right, I keep it logged on, on the dial, 89.7 FM. All right, if you're in diaspora, uh, it's going to be uh, uh, Radio Lagos Echo FM uh, uh, .net. Okay, that's how you get to us. We bring you radio to your doorstep, wherever you are, even in diaspora. Uh, just keep listening to Echo 89. 9.7 FM. This is yours sincerely at DBC Adios. DBC Konga on your radio, okay? All right, for me, I just appreciate the fact that you're there out there for me because uh, if not for you, uh, then there cannot be any any baby. Just continue to keep listening uh, to the station 89.7 FM. Always, I love to be on radio 24 7 because I appreciate the fact that you also appreciate me. Be good to yourself and of course, love you. All right, I have been speaking with Adebisi Adewusi, Adebisi Konga, and Anike Ola Salako, Annie Baby, the two popular voices on radio Echo FM 89.7 on the LTM show. Adebisi also has several other programs, uh, and Annie too is on several other programs, but that program is a flagship. It's a, it's a flagship program for both of them that you get to hear them regularly. It's been nice having you on this show, on this exciting episode of the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. And remember, you can have your uh, Nollywood Radio app on any of your mobile devices by going to the Google Play Store and downloading the Nollywood Radio France show, and you are on. You are on, you are on live on all our programs, dramas, documentaries, interviews, exclusives. It's nice to have you. And keep well. My name again is Demola Senyolu, and I'll see you on the next exciting episode of the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. Bye.